Hello and welcome to your daily word. Hello and welcome back. I am Pastor David and today we will consider some sources that God has provided us in the pursuit of wisdom. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 17 says that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. We've also noted that the first step is to ask God for wisdom if you lack it. And that in order to do that properly, we must do so in faith. We've also noted in our course of study that the Bible is a book quite literally filled with the wisdom of God. And so therefore it would be no surprise that when we were looking for sources for wisdom, that God would make the primary source his word. In Psalm 19 verse seven, it declares, the law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. There can be no true wisdom apart from the testimony of the Lord. Everything you do ought to be illuminated by the word of God. You need to seek out God and his word and the principles therein, and in your pursuit of wisdom, apply them to your life. This needs to be the primary source for whatever situation, whether it's family, finances, education, life, relationships, whatever. Seek out the truth first in God's word. But God's word is not the only source he's given to us. It is the principal one and the one in which we relate everything back to. But we have also been given to be able to pursue wisdom in the very creation of God. In Proverbs 6, verse 6, he tells us, Go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. God points at his creation, and he tells us that if we look at it, we can learn. We need to look and study and understand the creation of God and all of its many wonders. They have much that they can teach us about life and to reveal the wisdom of God in how we ought to live and relate one to another. Thirdly, we ought to pursue wisdom by keeping wise company. Proverbs 13 verse 20 says, Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise. A dear friend many years ago once told me, David, Show me who your friends are, and I'll tell you what you are. You see, the company we keep, the friends we choose, they tend to shape and influence the way we think, and even our values. The Bible says, do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. So we need to make sure that if we want to pursue wisdom, that we surround ourselves with wise people. They can teach us many of the truths and the wise principles of God. God never intended that you and I would study his word alone or that we would try and walk through this life alone. But walking with wise and godly people will help you to be wiser and godlier also. Fourthly, in the pursuit of wisdom, you need to keep in mind eternity. Pursue wisdom in the light of eternity. Remember how when making choices, we learn that we must consider the end of the path, the, des the destination of the road before we choose which gate we would go in. Well, the ultimate destination of this life is eternity. Psalm 90 verse 12 teaches us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. A heart of wisdom has as much to do with our attitude as it does with our ability of understanding. You see, each of us has been allotted by God a certain number of days, weeks, months, and years in which to live on this planet. We need to use the time that he has given to us wisely to get the most out of it. The preacher in Ecclesiastes said, It's better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For to this is the end of all mankind, and the living will lay it to heart and be wise. When we are pursuing wisdom, we need to also make sure that Christ is the focal point of our life. 
Colossians chapter 1, verses 16 and 17 and verse 23 tell us that all things were created by Him and for Him. In Him all things hold together, and in Him are hidden all the treasures of wisdom. Did you catch that? All the treasures of wisdom. I don't know about you, but if I was searching for something that is of most preciousness, and somebody said there is a source where it is all contained, that's where I would head. Well, I want you to know God has said that everything, all wisdom, all the treasure of wisdom is found in Christ. Yes, these are the paths that we ought to pursue when we're seeking wisdom. We seek it in God's word. We seek it through his creation. We seek it through wise relationships and keeping the wise around us. And we do so in light of eternity, considering the end of our days and keeping Christ in the center of all we are and all we do. May this help you in your pursuit of wisdom and may it prosper you in the journey of this life. Thank you so much for joining us today. Come back tomorrow for the next Daily Word. God bless.